Hello viewers, welcome to another very interesting video. After the huge success of electrical power system, microcontrollers and latex series, I will be going to start a brand new series which is the basics of electrical engineering and my first video is about the electrical resistance. Here you can see the animated image of an electrical circuit and this is a very basic circuit which consists of a voltage source which is a DC source in this case and a resistance and these are the wires or the conductors that allows the current to pass through it. When we are talking about the DC source it means that we will use the terminology positive and the negative voltage terminals and if we are talking about AC source then we will use the terminology phase and neutral or line and neutral. The rest of the circuit will remain the same but the current in AC circuit will be the AC current whereas in the DC circuit this current will be a DC circuit and in the next upcoming videos I will going to discuss the difference between the AC and the DC circuits and the corresponding AC and DC current. So I am using this image in order to let you understand the concept of electrical resistance. And this image is the perfect analogy of the resistance in which, in which this person is trying to pass through this path and for this he is applying the force or you can say he is applying the energy. And this energy represents a volt whereas the motion of this person represents the current and this person which is trying to oppose the motion of this person represents the resistance and if we talk about the electrical resistance it is obvious that this electrical resistance tries to oppose the flow of current in the electrical circuit. Let's talk about the relation between the current and the resistance. I am using A in order to represent the current. A stands for ampere and this is the unit of current while R represents the electrical resistance. You can see here that both these quantities are inversely proportional to each other. It means that as the resistance in the circuit decreases, the current in the circuit increases and vice versa. Now let's talk about the factors on which electrical resistance depends. As the expression shows, R is equal to rho L over A, where L is the length of the conductor or you can say the length of the wires or the cables through which the electrical current will pass. A is the area of the same conductor and rho is the resistivity and this is the property of a material and I will talk about the effect of this resistivity on the resistance later in this video. Let's talk about what if we increase the length of the conductor what happens to the total resistance of the circuit. So here you can see that I have increased the length of the conductor keeping the other two factors same or constant which are resistivity and area and only I have increased the length of the conductor or the wires. So it is obvious that if we increase the length of the conductor the resistance of the overall circuit will increase and the current in the same circuit will decrease by the same amount the length of the conductor increases. Now let's talk about the area of the conductor or the area cross-sectional area of the cables or the wires through which this current will pass. Here in this circuit I have increased or used the big cross-sectional conductor. Keeping the other two factors constant which are resistivity and the length. So if I increase the area of the conductor the resistance of the electrical circuit will reduce and in turn the current will increase in the circuit. So remember this point that if the voltage remains the same and only 
the area of the conductor increases then the overall current in the electrical circuit will increase because the overall resistance in the electrical circuit will decrease now let's talk about the last factor which is the resistivity of the conductor and this is the property of the material remember the very important point here that lower the value of the resistivity the better the conductor is or it has the better capability to allow the flow of current through it and offers the low resistance here you can see that copper is a better conductor as compared to the aluminum because it has low resistivity as compared to the aluminum therefore the copper resistance is less than aluminum r and we can say that copper is a good conductor than aluminum i hope you understand the concept of electrical resistance for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching